And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Viego. Going to be our first of three viewer submitted donation decks for today to head on over to Ranked. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting. This is a, a very Demacia heavy version of Lucian Viego and it's built around the Grand Plaza, a card that I've always enjoyed and, and think is very powerful and this is going to work so well with Viego and specifically with these encroaching mists because these encroaching mists they get quite large quite fast but they're ephemeral and so your opponent doesn't really want to block it but if you have the grand plaza get have the ephemeral mishap challenger now you basically are like creating after you know after your first two encroaching mists you're basically creating like merciless hunters and you know things like that and you know then a little bit later on you're creating screeching dragons and you know like each one getting that plus one plus zero challenger is going to be pretty awesome the other th the other really cool thing about grand plaza is with viego you need to have 20 plus total power of allies die think about like whenever you have viego and you just have like a pretty full board you you can attack your opponent's not going to be blocking but if you can give everything challenger you can just like have stuff die a lot easier by throwing you know kind of throwing it away create more encroaching mists and level up your viego super fast so that's kind of that's gonna be kind of cool so that's what our, our deck really is it's like a grand plaza viego deck um we also have like lucian senna in here we can you know have try to have senna die to level up lucian if you have leveled up lucian then each round the first time an ally dies you get to rally so that whenever you like you know attack with grand plaza you you play something and you give a challenger and you attack with it, it it dies now you create an encroaching mist thanks to viego and then you also rally thanks to uh lucian so now that encroaching mist can go challenge something else i don't know this should be pretty cool to just putting this combination of grand plaza with these champions so let's go ahead and give it a try we'll go play five games in ranked All right, we have Gangplank Sejuani for our first one. Sejuani is always super difficult for decks that are just trying to challenge. Man, what if I keep Unyielding Spirit? I guess they may not actually have a way to really deal with Unyielding Spirit. I kind of want... Okay, so this is obviously pretty slow. And so I hope we don't die... Right, I hope they don't have, an, like, a real aggressive hand. Right? Just pass. Pass. Right, well, whatever. Okay, never mind. This is as aggressive as you can be. <laughs> because my plan here is round 5, Viego. Round 6, Unyielding Spirit, the Viego. And then they won't be able to kill it ever. Making the day. Okay, so bad start for me. They were super aggressive, but hopefully, um, My gun does the talking. hopefully Senna plus Grizzled Ranger can give me some good defense. But I would imagine they open attack. Let's get to it. Stand down. So would I rather play Plaza plus Tracker over V8 over uh, Crystal Ranger? Get this Plaza and play. If I do that, that means I probably don't get to play Viego the next round. Maybe I have to just slow down completely. Oh, they're gonna make it rain, aren't they? If I play Grizzled Ranger, they play Mega Rain. I'm pretty sad. If I play Viego, they play Mega Rain. That's okay, but then they. Alright, we're going to Grizzled Ranger.
that's why I didn't want to play Viego, is if they had Mega Rain plus Harpoon. So yeah, they had too aggressive of a hand. I just don't don't have time for this unyielding spirit. They did have a very aggressive hand. That's too bad. We do have a radiant guardian in here. GG's. Good hand. I, I kept a slow combo, and I think we learned not to do that for next time. Told you, Hawk. Sejuani Gangplank can tutor each round at burst speed without showing the animation. I don't know what that even means. I don't, I don't know what that means. Tutor each round up. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. Alright, we got lurkers. We'll do better. I, I kept a slow combo. Okay. So now we got 2-2-3. Two, two, this should be a lot better. So probably going Lucian first. We'll have to see like what, what they do. We'll probably go on Lucian first into Senna. It's like all they do is attack, so we can block with the Senna. Have it die, level up Lucian. basically have just the the one spell that's the um the, that's pike's champion spell bone skewer basically to have just bone skewer i guess he should be going the other way yeah they should be going the other way If they have Bone Skewer, they're going to block and Bone Skewer anyway, though, so it, it doesn't matter. I guess that's what they're deciding upon whether or not to do that. Looks like they are. Yeah, so Zena, Senna now has that uh, double attack, but All right, let's miss some folks up. We're doing a lot of attacking over there. Attack with your yapping. Hmm. Surprised that that caller didn't attack as well.
They kind of have to block the center. So then that's them taking seven. Could use sharp side on the two one and challenge Pike. I kind of like doing this more. Okay, so they're down to just you know three cards. I got four. I got an extra card. Plus I have the two Senna's in play, and we got a third Senna. It's like we're getting ready for the new Senna champion that's going to be coming out later in the week. We're getting pretty excited about that. Ooh. Kimavoran dragon. Stand down. No. So this is eleven damage. So we make it 11, and then the dragon 12. How am I doing that other point of damage? Otherwise, I could just play Senna and the dragon right now. Okay. I think I'm just going to do that, because then, like, even if they have, like, a good blocker, they have to block, like, the Senna. And sure, we, we don't get quite as much damage in this round, but we kill, you know, like, we kill their units. Okay. One and one. That was a better game. Didn't just keep Viego unyielding spirit. <laughs> like a dummy. Like I did the first game. It does seem like that yeah, Gangplank Sejuani deck always has what it needs. Like so many times I've lost to just random cards in that deck. Like, they'll just have a troll chant suddenly, or like an ice shard, or, you know, just like whatever random thing. Okay, we got Viego and Shivana together. So, mirror match with Demacia and Shadow Isles with Viego decks. I think we just keep the two on the right. Keep two drop, three drop there. Starting off with that curve. Alright, they got me for zero. That one hurt. Push back the darkness. I'm not attacking in and letting them cast Sharp Sight on their Dragon Chow. That would be a bad idea. You're adorable when you're angry. Good. Missed your chance to win. I smell fear. Mm, do they also have sharp sight? Full red wall. I don't understand this block. Now I do. Alright, a couple of double attack Senna's. That's exciting. Two double attack Senna's. I do this for her. For us. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we're gonna challenge the Viego, have two double attack fives. 
That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't think you need to change anything about Pike. All right, we got uh, Talia action and Malphite. Landmark deck. Let's keep these two again. Even though the Egghead Researcher didn't really do anything last time because we had Lucian. But man, we are good at drawing Senna. It's just every game... We basically just only played Senna <laughs> as far as cards go. I think we've played more Senna's than all the other cards in our deck combined so far. I think. One mana, three, three. I don't need rules to know good from bad. One mana, three, three is always nice. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Interesting. What is this? Making the dead deader. Everything's got quick attack. doing that instead of I don't know, I could protect it with Prismatic Barrier. I'm just gonna keep Prismatic Barrier though. Ooh. Protector's good. Taking this two could trade with the the three two. Um, I think I'm just gonna take the two though. I don't know. Maybe I should be trading with the three two. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Diego. Alright, let's get our first encroaching mist. So that'll be four power dying for Diego. Grizzled Ranger is a good card to go along with Viego as far as just like a lot of power dying. That's always good. And we're all good. We got Prismatic Barrier. They're going Sandstone Charger. No, that's good. I'm glad Sandstone Charger puts extra power, extra pressure on us. Not so, fast. so 
So they realize that that's not the way to block to do that, or what? And we have gotten a lot of cards out of their hand, a lot of shape stones and stuff. You yeah, so with the channel point uh, re redemption things, the 1v1, we, we play two out of three games. And uh, I, think, I think just keeping sharp side up is okay. So yeah, we'll play two two out of three games, just one v one here on stream, and uh, you know usually do like at the, at like the end after recording stuff or in between recording, and you and you can kind of pick exactly what you want for the format. You can pick ex exactly what decks I play, or you can tell you know or any, you can tell me what to play, or you, know, you 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 choose the format, all all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, that's what that's all about. I mean, I could go for lethal with the with the sharp sight. Dragon. Yeah, you can choose more than one deck. Yep, we play three games, so you can choose three different decks if you want. You can have me play three different decks. Yeah, you you set up however you want. Whatever you want to do. There we go, GG's. And Lucian Diego is three and one. Getting some wins with Demacia. Senna's been awesome. Yeah, lethal is countered by ground slam, hush. There's, there's a lot of stuff. Quicksand. Just went with the better play. Okay, we have Action Sever. Probably the most popular deck right now, probably the best deck right now, so this is going to be a difficult test. Um, well, let's go ahead and keep these three. I think Radiant Guardian could be pretty good. Maybe not, though. Like, maybe I should be mulliganing. Maybe I should be mulliganing the Radiant Guardian and the single combat. And just starting with Tracker and looking for some more units. Oh, you can't you can't play across the the regions anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the across the servers. I, I am on the North American server. I don't think I just continually take damage. I don't really have a good use for. Oh, obviously for that. Obviously. Who couldn't predict that? Villains beware. I've got your back. Well that's that's a complete game changing play, you know, of, of making that block. And then drawing the Bright Steel Protector afterwards. Alright, so they're going to have all the cards in the world. They have all the cards in the world. Heroes go hungry.
So best case scenario would have been... Um, I think I just gotta let this happen. Best case scenario, of course, would have been like that that just happened and then we got to play Radiant Guardian. I, yeah, I, I don't know what's going to be revealed tomorrow for the champion, but there should be another champion revealed tomorrow each day until, so tomorrow and then Tuesday, right? So today's Sunday, so Monday, Tuesday, I think two two more days. So we've gotten, what, seven champions so far? That sound right? game would have been completely completely different if I didn't block on that round one but um yeah they had they've had a good hand with those double preservariums of just they got everything you know like they're I don't imagine a world where we win this game with them you know probably having like four nice combat tricks in hand and you know another good four threats like I don't really imagine any kind of any kind of world where we can win this game Yeah, Nami looks really cool. I I like I like uh, I like Nami how it's just a different card, right? I like that there's still it's going to be unique, and uh, you know just add a different type of deck into the meta game. And yeah, the more kind of unique champions like that, the better the game is. So that's cool. I think Nami was a just like Scion from yesterday. Sand Nami and Scion both and very very well made champions in that respect. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Problem is, they are the Demacia version that also has fight spells. You know, so as far as like, I would love to unyielding spirit one of these, but then they just fight spell in response to unyielding spirit. They should turn Unyielding Spirit back to being Burst Speed, now that there's many more. But no, this, this game is not going to go my way. And that is why. That's why I couldn't just unyielding spirit. So two fight spells out of their hand, it's possible Unyielding Spirit on the Radiant Guardian resolves the next round, right? Is that possible? Business as usual. Man, Shapestone is messed up. Like, I can't even block... <laughs> I can't even block Sivir and have Sharp Sight because Shapestone, right? Because, yeah, that Shapestone just kills it. Shapestone is messed up. Back 
back later. Stay back! And you can see why this deck is so good. Just everything, everything that they have is the definition of efficient. Like everything, every card that they play is incredibly good for the curve. All right, so if they have a fight spell, I lose. If they don't, we have a chance. chance. We're not dead yet, but we should still probably just die to them going really wide and having like a million cards, but we're not dead yet. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. We don't have much of a chance, but we have a little bit of a chance. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. The good news is they're not allowed to play any more of these. He's already played all three. Ruin Runners can't have any more. Hmm. I <laughs> still have over twice as many cards in hand as we do. Oh, man. So obviously we're very dead. We know they're, they're just going to have all sorts of sharp sights and everything, too. Okay. They haven't really been playing other, other stuff. Just play your Relentless Pursuit. Okay, fine. Okay, nope. It, I mean, it doesn't matter if Siver blocks Guardian or not. I mean, I guess... 
Oh, because... Oh, Oh, because Sivir... Okay, Re Guardian would take out the barrier for the other stuff, so, like, these things would not have had barrier. Which only matters... Which wouldn't have mattered, actually. Yeah, that wouldn't have mattered. No, it, it wouldn't have died. It, has, it had barrier. So, yeah, no, it didn't matter. Oh, there you So it's still a three to two record is really good for Masters rank with Lucian Viego. Nothing, nothing wrong with three and two. We'll take that. First loss with the game playing Sejuani with us not, uh, with with me keeping a poor hand. I kept a you know expensive combo and just got ran over. That was a mistake by me. And second loss here was to the best deck in the format that had a wonderful hand. And my hand was very slow. I had nothing to do on like round three or round four. I just had a really oh, awful hand. Not the egg. And so that's how it goes. That still puts me to zero. Negative two, I guess. Oh, right, because it doesn't have lifesteal anymore. I think our deck was really competitive, though. I think it was good. You know, again, 3-2 record's really good. Both of our losses were games that we just didn't do anything the first, like, few rounds and stuff and just had a really poor hand and... Um, yeah, you know, like that last one wasn't close at all, but it's because the first, the first four rounds of the game, we got dominated, and that game would have that game would have been completely different if I didn't block on one, right? You know, I blocked on one, and because we didn't have anything on two, three, or four, but then we drew the bright steel protector on two. If I just don't make that block, that game's a lot different. Um, I don't know if we would have won. I don't. Probably not. I don't think we would have won, but it just the game would have been different. All right, but anyway, uh, yeah, still very competitive deck. I liked it. We didn't get to really show off Grand Plaza. You know, it just didn't really happen. But we did show off Senna. Senna really looked good and did a whole lot for us. Oh, man, we have Camivore and Soldiers in here? I forgot about that card. Man, that card would have been great to have in any game. So, yeah, never had a Camivore and Soldier in any game. I think there was, I think we had just like some really random games in there <laughs> with some really random stuff, but I think this deck did perform well and did look well. Yeah, it looks pretty good too. Yeah, we had the Glimpse Beyonds that could give us card advantage other times. Yeah, just had a, had a couple of weird games for our two losses, but 3-2, we'll take it. Nice record. All right, that's going to be it here for Lucian Viego. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. If you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes with Grand Plaza. You know, Grand Plaza plus all of these encroaching mists. Uh, I think that could be a really cool combination, but we just didn't get to show it off here in these five games. So if you try it out yourself, hopefully you can <coughs> get to have that. And if so, let me know. That's going to be here for Lucian Viego. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.